Hello, welcome to a special episode of Breaking It All Down. I'm Count Zero. This is another vloggy thing. Um, I will be doing more reviews in the future. However, something came up recently, which is worth vlogging over recently for when I'm recording this. There's going to be a delay from when the, I recorded this to when it goes up, but it's all right. Um, I recently purchased a Game Boy Advance game from e from eBay from a, boot from a seller whose name I'm not going to give. And it was a bootleg. I don't think the seller knew it was a, bo a bootleg, but since I have a bootleg in my hot, grubby little hands, might as well talk a little bit about how to tell a Game Boy Advance bootleg, because most of the information out there is related to spotting bootleg Pokemon cards for the Game Boy Advance, and a lot of them are focused on the label. Now, labels for carts can get dinged up, scratched up, tore up, particularly if it's a game that has been at some at one point or another owned by a small child. And if it's a Pokemon game, it's entirely possible that it was in fact owned by a small child and carried pretty much everywhere. Not like a small tiny kid, like four or five, but like actually like seven or eight and taken to school and friends' houses and all this that in the over place. And so labels can get scratched up. So, I mean, if you've been to like a freaking thrift shop and look through NES cards, you can find lots of NES cards where the labels have been scratched all the hell and back. Or tore up all the hell and back. So, there are ways to tell a bootleg beyond just the label itself. So, I'm going to talk about a few. So, first I'm going to show you a... Um, so, what I've got. So, I have here our control. Forgive the lighting and focus stuff. I'm working on my webcam. Okay, this control is a copy... A legit copy of Final Fantasy 1 and 2 Dawn of Souls for Game Boy Advance. This is the cart that I first beat Final Fantasy on. And this is the boot, and so this is the bootleg, say, of, uh, Final Fantasy 6 Advance. This arrived just today. Now, off the bat, you'll notice the label is different. I'll hold this up so it's gonna be a little better to see it, and there we go. The label is just a little bit different. You notice there's no seal of quality on there. We do have the rating, and we do have a product code. And we don't actually have publisher information on there. Now, if you're going for bootleg, if you're like just going by label, then this could be a warning sign, or this could be a situation where it got tore up and was replaced. The vendor I was talking to did not know whether it was a bootleg or a replacement or a variant or whatever. So, I mean, as it is like the Nintendo seal of quality, that's like a U.S. specific thing. Um, so couple things you can tell. You can't really hear the... I don't know if you can really hear this, but the texture on the carts is a little different. And, and you, you kind of hear it. I wonder if I can rub... I'm trying rubbing them against each other, like rubbing my finger on them up against the mic. That's the bootleg. It's legit. It sounds a little different. Uh, I don't know if the mic can pick it up, but there is a different sound to them if you rub your finger on them. Um, the just general texture of the plastic themselves is different. So, however, if you're handling them, particularly if you have one that is, uh, if you have a, a legit one with you as a con to compare, then you can you'll notice that this one. It's actually a little thicker. I'm going to hold up the camera so you can tell. It's, yeah. It's not a great contrast because I can't lay them flat. But, so, here's the legit, here's the bootleg. You kind of see that bootleg is a little bit thicker. You can also tell on this side, if you look at the gap between the front, between the top and bottom pieces of plastic, you kind of see, again, so you can tell which one is which, this one 
Get the bootleg. This one is legit. You see that the gap there is a little, is like a hair wider on the bootleg. In part because the bootleg is physically thicker. Um, this leads to another way you can notice. This is my Game Boy Advance SP. Um, the NES anniversary model. Put the legit one in here. Let's see if I can get this on camera. Slides in. Nice and neat. Fits flushly. Back to and if you li if you listen to it, clicks in nicely, slides in smoothly, a lot of real scraping. This one's a little thicker, so if you listen, let me show it as well. There's pressure and resistance when you push it in because of the increased thickness. It still clicks in and fits. Um. But otherwise, it doesn't quite fit right. It, it doesn't slide and smoothly. Um, now, I also brought up the game, the uh, uh, Pokemon thing, because with Pokemon bootlegs, apparently there's a problem with game saves being lost. Whether it's against memory volatility or some copy protection stuff or whatever. Um, I can't say if that happens yet for um, Final Fantasy VI on the GBA. I haven't played it that much. Uh, one other thing. Um, on the back of Legit Cart, have the model number. See if we get this to focus. Is 0... It is AGP, or AGB is in Baker, 002. Focus. You should be able to see it there. AGB, AJB002. The bootleg. Has focus AJB zero zero four AJB zero zero four is the model number for the Japanese um, charger for the Game Boy Advance. So the model number is wrong. It is it's model number that exists, but it's not the model number used for the cartridges. So, a couple of really good, that's a couple of really good ways to tell. Um, one, other, one other little thing, if you look at the back, um, aside from the model number, the font is a little smaller. Once you look, there's a little dimple on the back. Part of the molding process, plastic molding process, I suspect. It's the legit version, and this is the bootleg. Let's hold these side by side. So the bootleg, the dimple is smaller than on the legit version. So there you go. There's your differences uh, again. Quick shorthand, quick list. Thickness of the cartridge. Bootlegs will probably be thicker. Um, probably because they're not getting the same memory. Um, the, the, the old standby is the label's different, but you can't always count on that because reproductions are... reproduction, but um, replacements for labels are things people make for themselves. Like, especially if the label gets dinged up or scraped up. Um, so I wouldn't count on using a fake label. And as it is, people can do bootlegs with legit labels, too. So... Um, you want to count the label, thickness of the cartridge, check the model number on the back of the cart, check the dimple on the plastic, check the feel of the plastic, because odds are pretty good 
they probably, if it's a bootleg, it's made at a different place, and so the plastic won't be the same, might not necessarily be the same formula, and this will feel, this may feel different under your fingers. Um, and those are the biggies. Oh, and gaps. Look at, look for, like, slightly larger gaps in between the top and bottom pieces of plastic that are used to make the cartridge itself. So, those are the things to look out for. Um, again, it looks like this cart works okay. It sounds like just the person who I bought it from didn't know it was a bootleg. Or something like that. And so I'm not holding it against him or her. But it's something to keep an eye out. If you're a collector who either wants to avoid getting burned on the bootleg or wants bootlegs to add to their collection. I mean, there are people who like to collect, boot, collect bootleg cartridges. Um, whichever one you prefer. Um, there are the tips to look out for, outside from just, you know, label stuff. Because again, labels can be replaced. So, later on, so for later videos, I have a couple movies lined up that I'd like to review. Um, I'll see if I get those reviewed. So, until then, I'm Count Zero, and thank you for watching. If you're interested in supporting the videos, I will have a little thing at the end with the URL for my Patreon account, which will let you know whenever new videos come out, and also help support me making this and hopefully lead to me getting better production quality. In any case, um, thank you for watching. Mm -hmm.